Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the Snapmaker and all of their new products they announced on Friday at their live event celebrating their 5th anniversary. By the way, congratulations. They announced a couple new machine models and some refreshes to existing modules, which have been really requested on the forums and all that good stuff. So let's roll the intro and get right, right on into what's new. Alright, so the biggest and most anticipated update out of all the upgrades is to the linear modules, which we'll get into soon, but first let's start out with some of the new machines. So they announced the new F-Series machines, which is going to be in the F-250 and the F-350. These have the exact same layout and like bed size and everything as the old A-Series ones. Nothing has really changed in terms of that. Um, however, they will only ship with the 3D printing module. So you do not get the CNC module or the laser engraver module. However, if you wish to upgrade to those later, after you've used the machine maybe you want to get more in depth with the Snapmaker, they say that you'll be able to buy those in the future. Now this new F-Series model will receive the newly designed linear modules and the new power module with a price tag starting at $9.99 for the 250 and $11.99 for the F-350. Now at the time of this recording you can actually go through and receive a pre-order discount price of $8.39 for the 250 and $9.99 for the 350 and in my opinion this, this, this series is going to be a great addition to the Snapmaker lineup. I know that I, I have an A350 and I don't really use the CNC and the laser engraver all that much yet mainly because I just haven't gotten into it um, but I do use the 3d printing module a lot so I think being able to offer the Snapmaker experience to a lot more people at like a lower price tag and everything and then if they choose that they want to go through and do the CNC in the laser modules in the future they have the opportunity to expand but they're not forced to buy it and they can kind of get in at a lower discounted price so in my opinion the F series is super awesome and going to be uh, a very well welcomed addition to the Snapmaker lineup. And then the other machine that they announced is the AT series. So they have the A A250T and the A350T. Um, and again, these have the exact same layout as the regular A series. This machine does, however, ship with all three, the laser engraver, the CNC, and the 3D printing modules. And it also receives the new T series linear modules. Now, these are new driver chips. They have the new TMC2209 stepper motor driver chip, which they say will make the linear modules quieter. Uh, if you've ever been on the forums or ever heard anything on YouTube about like the Snapmaker, it is very loud. Um, I will say, I haven't compared it to any other 3D printers and everything like that, but other people have compared it and said that it is very loud. And that's why we have ours in like a different room and stuff like that, like its own separate area. That way it can actually go through and make as much noise as it wants to and we won't really hear it as much. Um, but if you are in the room with it, it is very loud. So I think it's going to be a very nice upgrade to it and stuff like that. But we'll see uh, if it makes any difference and everything whenever they start shipping to people sometime in November, I believe. Now the other thing they've upgraded on this linear module is the lead of the screw. So instead of having it be 8 millimeters, it's now 20 millimeters, which means that it will travel 2.5 times further per revolution of the lead screw and stuff like that than the A series linear module, making them quicker. However, they have less torque and it also I think has less stepping um, resolution. So you might get a couple of like more errors and stuff like that in your printing and everything but we'll, we will have to wait and see if that becomes an issue and once people start getting their hands on them and start having them shipped to them because otherwise um it might not make a difference and who knows we'll see maybe some makers tested it and stuff like that and they've said that it makes no difference and that it's totally fine but we'll have to wait and see i'm just kind of rambling on right now um but if you do have an a series um snapmaker 2.0 you can actually go through and upgrade your my, your machine with the new modules you don't have to go through and buy a whole new machine um if you're having a you can go through and buy them in the bundle they have a five pack bundle for 649 for the 250 and 749 for the 350. now there isn't an upgraded machine for the 150 however if you want to go through and upgrade your 150 model you can go through and buy the, the three pack bundle for 349. now the option to buy one individually uh, by itself is available and you can go through and uh, I'll put some of the prices on the screen and stuff like that for you and all that good stuff. Now the one important thing about these new T-series modules is that they are not interchangeable with the old A-series modules. Um, maybe because they have a different lead and stuff like that and they have a couple of different like other settings that maybe this software can't like account for. I don't know. 
Um, people on the forums have been you know, debating what, why you can't go through and do that, but I'm sure Stamaker has a reason for it um, and stuff like that, so I don't know what to see. But as of right now, Stamaker has said you cannot use these interchangeably, so you need to have either all A-series modules or all T-series modules and all that good stuff. Um, and also, the Z-axis is now different from the X and Y axes, so you can't go through and like just hot swap them wherever you need to. You need to go through and actually make sure that you're putting the Z axes up and down and then X and Y going in their respective positions and all that stuff. And then the other upgrade that is happening to the F series and the A T series is they're both getting new power modules. So the new power module is supposed to be quieter um, by about 16 decibels and has an automatic uh, fan that can automatically change according to real time temperature. Now if you again if you own an A series you know that the power supply module is very loud. You turn that puppy on and it immediately is like Bruh. it is loud. Like it's it's pretty loud. So again having the fan be a little bit quieter at the beginning and maybe as it's doing some more work it'll speed up or something like that. Um, but having one that'll change based on the temperature and all that good stuff is pretty good. They also said that the power module is going to have a uh, softer light and stuff like that, which is going to be kind of nice, I guess, if you're in like a dark area. And the price to upgrade the power module is 129 US dollars. And then the price for the new A250 and the A350 are on the screen. I don't have it in my little list here, I don't know why, but they're on here somewhere for you to uh, go through and look at and all that good stuff. And my thoughts on the A250. Uh, T and all that good stuff. Um, I think it's gonna be nice again It's basically the same thing as an a series with just the upgraded modules for about the same price and everything um, I think the a series is actually gonna be a little bit cheaper now, which is kind of you know You kind of expect that but yeah, I think that's good You know, we're gonna get a new kind of a uh, version and everything like that and all that good stuff So I it's not really much to say about this one. It's just an upgraded version of the a series, which is gonna be nice So if you don't have an a series Maybe consider buying the AT series and all that good stuff. But yeah, there's not much to say about it. It's just an upgraded version. Now, there's another product that got upgraded, and it is the 3D printing module. Uh, this has a new, a couple more vents on top, a couple more vents on the bottom, and everything to allow more airflow to uh, have a better cooling system. It also has a new quick release hot end mechanism. I've never changed the hot end on my Snapmaker module, so I don't really know how hard it is or anything like that, but supposedly it's supposed to be easier. And they've also gone through and they have improved some of the extrusion components. I don't know what they've improved necessarily. Don't know if it's good or bad or anything like that, and what, how, how much better it'll be, but they've said they've improved it, which is nice. And if you're interested in getting this module, it's going to cost you about $149 USD. So that's basically your recap for all of the new announcements made on Friday by Snapmaker. I think the F-Series machine, again, is going to be super awesome. A lot of people to get into like the Snapmaker kind of community without having to go through and spend a lot of money on something that they might not necessarily need or want or anything. So I think the uh, community will grow by quite a bit with this new upgrade and everything. Now these are going to start shipping in November, I've heard, and all that good stuff. The upgraded linear modules and power module are actually already on the store. You can go through and buy those. However, I have heard those are sold out, um, which is kind of annoying, I guess, but hopefully I'm sure they'll put more on there and then just have my back order or something like that. Um, but yeah, the sound reductions and all that good stuff are going to be very well received, hopefully, in the Snapdragon community. Hopefully it makes the machine quieter and more easier to use and everything without sacrificing any of the quality, because it does have pretty high quality prints. I've been very happy with the quality of our print and everything, so hopefully that, that doesn't get sacrificed just because it's quieter. Oh, and one thing before I go, uh, they did tease the new 10 watt laser module and the dual extruder module on the page for the F series. So those are supposedly coming soon, hopefully. I don't know when they're gonna be released and shipped and everything, but they are on their way. Now, sadly, I don't have any of these new modules or anything like that in these new machines, so I can't go through and show you what anything sounds like in this video. Um, we'll have to wait and see what other people on the forums post or people in the other communities and everything like that post so we can get some upgrades. That way you can go through and consider whether or not you want to upgrade. But in terms of this video, I can't go through and show you any of that sadly. I wish I could, but I can't. But anyways, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about all these new modules. Do you guys have the A series and are you looking to upgrade to the new T series linear modules? Are you maybe a new you know, person to the Snapmaker community looking to buy your first Snapmaker, does the F series sound good to you with just the 3D printing module? Um, I don't know, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below, and of course, I always respond and everything like that, and, uh, and talk with you and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in more Snapmaker videos, I got tons of videos here on the channel, a couple tutorials, a couple of just interesting videos and everything like that, and uh, yeah, if you liked the video, maybe consider giving it a like. If you want to see more, maybe consider subscribing, 
and until next time, uh, take care.